dot d o t c o m and uh, we have a variety of books we have published uh, 20 and we have uh, children i mean books for all ages and I, and again i would like to uh, invite uh, greenville and the surrounding area to come to our book event we have uh, four amazing off Mississippi authors, and we have, um, but between the four of us, we have uh, novellas, children books, memoirs, biographies, poetry, and uh, also the company has other uh, books as well, um, historic fiction, and also uh, murder mystery and other uh, memoirs and children books, and. Um, that's going to be, uh, so next Saturday, come out to the book gallery. What's that address? 647 mm -hmm. South Gilbert Street. Okay. Mississippi. Okay. And, um. Excuse me, that's going to be that's June 8th, 2019. June, June 8th, 3 to 6. Okay. And also, I wanted to tell uh, the audience, uh, just uh, all of us are, um, advocates for early childhood learning and we started we incorporated a non-profit corporation called the Community Library of Mississippi March 21st of this year we're in the process of getting our 501 C3 now we have seven programs um, and affiliate groups one is the Learning Tree Book Club. We read together once a month for one hour and a half, first Saturdays at the Jackson Medical Mall, which is in Jackson off of Bailey Avenue, from 2 to 3.30. And our process is we read on site. We just bring a stack of books, and uh, the kids uh, and adults, they just grab it and write down what they're reading and and, um, and read. So we don't, you know, normally the book club style is to read and discuss it. Uh, we just read it and have fun right then. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a good uh, thought. That's a good way. Sometimes mm -hmm. at the end, the kids are doing dance or mm -hmm. something. All that, right. Or they move. And that's a, that's, a fun, that's a fun family activity uh -huh. and, and encouraging reading. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's, that's what... That's the goal. The goal of the Community Library of Mississippi is to increase literacy, early learning, the love for reading, and to provide a space for intellectual changes and content. Now, I learned about community libraries because uh, some of us tried to start the first ever Friends of the Rich and Wright Library in Jackson, which is in South Jackson. And uh, we were not allowed to create the second friends group. The city of Jackson, there are eight libraries, maybe one is closed now, and we only have one friends group which is responsible for raising, the friends group is the volunteer group that raises money for the public libraries here in the state. And basically, it only costs $50 to start a friends group. And the, that volunteer board has a, a huge task because they raise money to buy books for summer reading. They raise money for equipment, computer, so, and they put on programming to get people to the library. And uh, as the national model is, every library needs a friend. And, and the, the problem, that was, the reason why we wanted to create a friends group is because we have a serious literacy crisis in this country and mm -hmm. in this state. Mm -hmm. I, and I just I just have to be clear, this is a crisis. We need all hands on deck. When we have children who go to kindergarten, even if they go to a, day, uh, a daycare or whatever, they still don't have what it takes to pass these state tests. They need to be learning everywhere, at home in particular. Mm -hmm. Uh, because w what I found out was that uh, th uh, there are not enough kids that know, first of all, their street address, the town or city they live in, 
the state they live in. And what, and now you have to know at least 60 sight words. Well, we, we put the, our first act towards literacy was uh, my first book series, which is six volumes of books. The first one is my one to five activity book, which is 42 pages. My A to G activity book, volume two. My H to P activity book, volume three, which is 49 pages. My 10 to 100 activity book, volume four, which is 31 pages. My two to 24 activity book, which is 36 pages. And believe it or not, the biggest book is My Q to Z. And some teachers looked at it and they were surprised that we could find so many words and illustrations with those particular letters. Okay, all right. <laughs> but um, these are uh, supplemental learning. And they can also, actually, there's a second grade teacher that's an intermediary teacher. She is using these books, which are designed to prepare kids for kindergarten. She used it this past year for her second graders because they did not get that in kindergarten. And our, um, I'm going to um, skip over to our other, I, I didn't mention our other programs. We have the book Toasters. And the book Toasters started the Jackson Book Festival. A lot of people here have probably heard or maybe been to Jackson on the capital to the Mississippi uh, Book Festival, which is a, a, a very huge event. The only problem for small authors, uh, me and some of our, my uh, cohorts went three years in a row. The table is uh, like $150. So basically, we split the table and we barely broke up even. Now you can't even split the table. You have to, there are only two chairs there and only one author could be at a table. So we, uh, and also in Jackson, a lot of the self-published or lesser known authors are excluded. We can't sell books anymore in our public library. You used to, when we got in, uh, became an author in 2013, we could sell a book in every library in the city. And now you can only sell books in just one library, which is the Willie Morris Library through a program called the Applause Program. And so that's a serious gatekeeper where you only have one library, one friends group, and one you know, the friends group is the one that brings the authors to the to the library. So our community library is going to be modeled. First of all, a community library is not like a library. A community library is an old house turned into a reading space for spelling bees and for reading and for activities and uh, uh, spelling bees and poetry contests. Uh, it's... Uh, is, is managed by local mothers, grandmothers, fathers, grandfathers. It's not managed by the state, and it doesn't have the, the red tape. But when you have a community library down the street from a school, and you have, in my neighborhood, maybe 70 kids walking home from school because they're not getting on the after school bus. The community library becomes a resource. That's mm -hmm, what we need. We need mm -hmm. more resources. We need more resources. We need more children with my first dictionaries, with dictionaries, looking up words and learning so that we can have more that are passing the test rather than so many that are being passed on. And that's one of um, our very, uh, we're very passionate mm -hmm. about increasing literacy and we hope that there will be more uh, people across the state that will get on this uh, bandwagon. Mm -hmm. And also uh, we have uh, reading fairs and we also are, are doing a, a speaking uh, series. One is going to be named Community Speaking Series and that will be the local people because we need to learn our local history. Then uh, 
the Book Tulsa Speaking Series, and the Local History Speaking Series. And again, in February, by request, we're going to do the Jackson Book Festival. This will be our second time doing the Jackson Book Festival. And any author is invited to come to Jackson and participate in the Jackson Book Festival. Our first one was very, very successful. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be February 2020. Right, February of 2020 will mm -hmm. be our second uh, Jackson Book Festival. And I want to thank you so much for uh, hosting uh, the Merit of Etcetera offers and all of the other people that you uh, host and all of the information that you get out to the public. And uh, it's, it's very helpful it's in this. I met so many people uh, coming here through uh, the uh, Delta Foundation and I understand that you all have a uh, 50 year celebration mm -hmm. coming up and that is so commendable because if we just lost you, you need a black whale. You all come on and back. And she is yes. mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. of creating mm -hmm. uh, uh, this uh, uh, foundation. Mm -hmm. But I, I just can I, can I just say this one thing about using black whale. She she was uh, we're members of the Real Development Leadership Network. She was on the board, and I'm a real fellow. We both uh, obtained our degrees through uh, 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 for real development. She did hers for planning, which, you know, she lived in the forgotten city. In 1975, there was no streets, no police uh, department, no sewage, uh, no plumbing for no black person in Myersville. And she was the first black female mayor in the state of Mississippi in 1976. But she is also responsible for uh, creating getting the city incorporated and that's what we need now we need more social justice we need people doing things that's going to help everyone on the ground so we can have more people to to move up pull someone up yep. thank you so much all right thank you all right well i enjoy doing what i'm doing and i thank you all for coming